How's everyone doing? Today I'm going to show you a video on the top five horror steelbooks of 2021. Let me know what you think of my picks and what would be on your list for the top five horror steelbooks of 2021. And let me know if you've seen any of these movies and what you think of them. And let me know what your favorite pick of mine is from these top five horror steelbooks of 2021. Leave me those comments down below. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the top five horror steelbooks of 2021. Let's check them out. And on my number five spot for the top five horror steelbooks of 2021 is the Three From Hell steelbook. This is the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray digital copy combo pack. And Lionsgate is getting a lot of love for their steelbooks and rightfully so, especially with these clear protective slip covers. They're practical and they look awesome. Uh, again, they can protect the steelbooks. Uh, but Lionsgate, you know, they've been doing that recently. But Mondo and Mill Creek are two companies that have been doing that for a while, but it's nice to see a major studio like this picking that idea up and going with it. They've been making some awesome steelbooks. So big ups to Lionsgate. Can't wait to see what they release in the future steelbook wise. Uh, I want to preface this by actually saying I was going to include the Saw steelbook on there, but I feel like it falls just out of range. I prefer these five for, uh, you know, the steelbooks for the artwork design a little bit better. Uh, Saw is, you know, very influential. I feel like actually Saw was influenced by Q, which needs way more love and needs a blue release here in the U.S. Uh, but, you know, and to be fair, I think there's nine movies in the Saw franchise now, if you include uh, Spiral and then Jigsaw, and really only three of them are watchable. Um, after Saw 3, it just gets progressively worse. Uh, but I digress. It's a nice steel book, but I'd probably put it on my number six spot. And I don't think there were enough great horror steel books to constitute making a uh, top 10. Uh, so to compile that list, I feel like maybe there'd be eight and I didn't want to do that. So this is the top five. Saw would be number six for me. I know that gets a lot of love. I see a ton of people picking that one up and uh, saying it's one of their favorites for me. It would be number six. So here we go at the actual number five spot is the three from hell. I know a lot of people don't love the movie. Uh, it is, you know, obviously uh, the weakest in the Firefly trilogy, but I still enjoy it. I'm a fan of Sherry Moon Zombie and the character of Baby, and it is the Baby show here. And this is a Best Buy exclusive, and I know a lot of people don't like Rob Zombie, but I am a fan. Let me know what your favorite Rob Zombie movie is. For me, it would be uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, but I really liked uh, Lords of Salem. Uh, that was going to be a great throwback to 70s witch horror movies, one of the best ever, uh, up until like the last 20 minutes or so it fell apart a bit, but I still love the heck of that movie. But uh, the House of a Thousand Corpses is definitely my favorite from Rob Zombie and definitely my favorite of the Firefly trilogy. And the artwork, though, is so amazing. I had to include it. I still enjoy it, uh, seeing the characters. And I know, uh, you know, Sid Haig passed away. And there was, you know, liability uh, issues with him and health-wise and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, they didn't want him to be shooting uh, the film. But Rob Zombie, you know, snuck him in for one scene. So it was nice to see him in there, just even if briefly. Um, I got a chance to meet Sid Haig a couple times. Really nice guy. Super fan friendly. Did the conventions for so long. Uh, Captain Spaulding is an iconic character. Um, but I love seeing uh, these characters and some new characters. But look at that. So you get that awesome artwork right there. And you take this off and it reveals that. How freaking awesome is that? So, you know, I'm a fan of the movie. I know not everybody is. But for the Steelbook design and the artwork choice, it had to make the list. Like, look at that. That is amazing. Are you kidding me? Beautiful. I love, especially, you know, I'm talking about Lionsgate and the slip covers and things like that. Other companies have been doing it. But Lionsgate has really been doing it where, you know, it has artwork there and then you uh, take this off and it reveals different artwork. So I think that is just upping the game right there. And I'll go ahead and show you the backs right there. There's the coffins and the spine. And I'll open it up, put the digital copy off to the side, and then you get the two discs right there. And there's interior artwork, which is key. If you're gonna make a top list for horror steelbooks, you gotta have some interior artwork. And there is Baby right there with the bow and arrow, which I think looks awesome. And the cross. Artwork and design-wise, this is one of my favorite horror steelbooks ever, I think. I just love the heck out of it so friggin' much. Beautiful design and just so fitting, especially for the film and the title too. And it has a nice glossy finish. 
but there you go. There's a closer look at that cover, which is, you know, them three from hell in hell. Uh, that is amazing for me. So that's the number five spot. The only reason it isn't higher is because I feel like the film isn't as great as some of the others that I'm about to show you. Uh, but artwork design, beautiful, incredible. And my number four spot is The Birds. I keep these wraparound J cards. Usually I like to put them uh, inside the steel book, but there's the back of the wraparound J card if you want to see that. But here's the actual steel book. You have uh, the white right there. It has a smooth matte finish. And there's that iconic shot right there. And just beautiful, simplistic on the front. But then I love this back, the silhouette of Alfred Hitchcock and the birds right there. So amazing. Love that. And just such an iconic image, his silhouette. And there's the spine. And this movie is an all-time classic. One of my favorites. Put that off to the side. And there's a Tippy Hedren. And you got the 4K disc. And then you got the Blu-ray disc, which is the same as the front artwork. And I love that shot. Look at that interior artwork with all the birds everywhere. Just iconic creepy i remember watching this as a kid and it freaked me the heck out and i still think it is uh, an all-time classic horror movie and it still holds up for me look at all that amazing shot for that interior artwork and this is a best buy exclusive uh 4k ultra hd steelbook and this is a release from universal and uh, they've done some really great uh releases for their steelbooks you know the best buy exclusive ones uh, great artwork choices. A few of them utilized, uh, you know, very simplistic designs for their catalog titles for the, the front covers, but, you know, they have the interior artwork, the back, uh, just great artwork choices overall for some classic films uh, this year. So thank you so much, Universal, for releasing some great steelbooks and including this iconic classic horror film. And I love seeing more uh, horror steelbooks and more 4K Ultra HD horror steelbooks and at the number three spot is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark from Arrow Video. I like a lot of the Arrow Video steelbooks. Uh, this one is particularly nice. I love the artwork choice. Got that smooth matte finish. You can see some of the gloss of the title right there. Shining through in different uh, shots from the film, including Elvira herself. Just iconic character and... There's the spine, and here is the back. Weird romance, which I think looks creepy and awesome. Let's open it up. And again, I keep the wraparound J cards often inside the steelbook, fold them. Um, but here we go. You've got a nice booklet in here, which is a nice added touch. And that's awesome. Uh, then advertise it for more Arrow Video releases, and then you got the disc. And then behind there, interior artwork of Elvira laying in bed. So that's an awesome shot too. I love when they include the booklets uh, for the releases, especially for films that I really enjoy. You can find behind the scenes information and shots, and you can sometimes hear uh, film critics and historians uh, writing uh, articles up in there too. And Arrow Video is one of my favorite companies releasing Blu-rays. They always do a phenomenal job with the releases from the titles that they choose, the transfer, the special features, the artwork choice. I love what they do for their standard releases, the box sets, and the steel books. And this definitely had to be on the list. This movie is such a blast. I love the heck out of it. Great horror comedy movie. Uh, Elvira is just iconic. And they really did a great job on this release. Uh, did the movie justice with this steel book. Great choice of the artwork. And the film is just such a fun time. And uh, I've had a crush on Elvira since I was a kid. Who didn't, right? <laughs> and the number two spot is American Psycho. And this is another Best Buy exclusive. So there are a bunch of Best Buy exclusives in this uh, top five horror steelbooks of 2021. I know a lot of people, for whatever bizarre, crazy reason, don't consider this to be a horror movie. And I think that is outrageous. It is a satirical take on the yuppie lifestyle, but it is also a horror movie. It can be both. It doesn't have to be one or the other. I mean, he kills people with a knife, an ax, a chainsaw, uh, a gun as well. But I mean, there's just blood everywhere. He's killing tons of people. He's out of his mind. But the writer calls this a horror movie, Brett Easton Ellis. 
so I'm going to take their word for it over uh, some people on the internet or, you know, people in real life who, you know, don't consider this a horror movie. It is absolutely a horror movie. And uh, Christian Bale is perfect as Patrick Bateman. Incredible casting there. I think he's an uh, amazing actor, one of the finest actors of our generation. Uh, but he was made to play this role, and I love the heck out of it. Uh, let me know your favorite scene in here. Don't just stare at it, eat it. I have to return some videotapes. So many iconic lines and scenes in here. Uh, and Lionsgate, another incredible release. Uh, they have a couple on this list, and rightfully so. And uh, this is just incredible. I love this. This easily could have been number one. And it's the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray digital copy combo pack. You take this off and it reveals that image, which is just so freaking cool. I love what Lionsgate is doing with these uh, slip covers right here. It's clear, so you can put a different image on the top if you want to overlay it, and it can reveal a different image underneath on the steelbook. Uh, again, it's practical, protects the steelbook, uh, but also it's just visually stunning, very aesthetically appealing what they're doing design-wise. So it slides off, and there you go. The blood splatter on there, just so incredible. And there's the back and a nice glossy finish on this one. And there's the spine, there's the back and the blood splatter on the ax resembles the American flag, which is also a very nice added touch on here. Put the digital copy off to the side. This was so freaking cool when you open it up. And it's uh, the business card. Oh, I love that scene so much. One of the best scenes in the movie for me. Uh, I love, probably, you know, my third favorite scene in the movie. But so many great iconic scenes in here. But there's the discs. And there we go. And you can actually see um, his face right there. So there is uh, more interior artwork underneath the discs. And one of the most intense performances I've seen. He can convey so much with just a look, but when he loses it, ah, oh, it's incredible. Thank you so much, Lionsgate, for the incredible job you're doing with the Steelbooks uh, and just home video releases overall. Physical media lovers, we appreciate it. And collectors, um, I can't say thank you enough. Uh, this is just one of the best Steelbooks ever for me. Uh, this is... Easily, again, like I said, could have been in the number one spot. But for me, I'm going to put it number two. It's an absolutely amazing design with this release, uh, especially with this uh, overlay of the protective slipcover, the different choice of artwork to reveal the different image underneath. Love it. Great job, Lionsgate. And in my number one spot for the top five horror steelbooks of 2021 is the Best Buy exclusive 4K Ultra HD steelbook for John Carpenter's The Thing. I know not everyone would put this in the number one spot, but it's my all time favorite movie. And I love that design for the steelbook. In fact, it reminds me of this old Blu-ray steelbook for it. For uh, This is a UK release from play.com. It's got that same image, but different coloring on this one it has the green on there. Uh, but I like that one a little bit better for the blue. Makes me think of the snow. And I love uh, horror movies with a snowy setting. Uh, there definitely needs to be more. I've always said that there should be a Friday the 13th set in the snow. I live in New Jersey and I used to live in New York and it snows in both those places. And, you know, Jason takes Manhattan and obviously uh, the first one was filmed in New Jersey. So they should absolutely have a Friday the 13th in the snow. Uh, but for me, this is my all-time favorite movie, a new Mercone score. Rob Bottin's practical effects still stand the test of time. Some of the most incredible practical effects ever. Uh, and then you've got Dean Cundy's cinematography. Uh, just the whole cast is incredible. That sense of isolation and paranoia. Uh, it is just phenomenal. I never get tired of watching it. I still get goosebumps watching it. And I have many editions of this one. And for me, this one uh, is my favorite horror steelbook of the year. And I absolutely love it. And it's got that smooth matte finish. And there you go breaking through the ice and it has a little bit of wrap around uh, of the image and even the spine i think is awesome look at that and this is from universal and you got the classic glow face design in the back which is actually on the back of the play.com steelbook which i don't fully love this because i feel like they could have utilized the complete back of it um but like they did here so that's another reason why i think this steelbook is uh, an improvement on 
previous steelbooks for the thing. And even right here, you can see the complete, uh, you know, wrap around for the artwork when you open it. And here is the wrap around J card. Put the digital copy off to the side. I even kept the Best Buy exclusive sticker on there. And we've got the 4K disc and then the Blu-ray disc. Let's go ahead and take that out. And here we go. There is uh, Kurt Russell McCready. I actually named my dog Mac after uh, his character here. But there's the flamethrower. Uh, love it. Just an incredible film. One of the greatest horror movies of all time. One of the greatest sci-fi horror movies of all time. It just still blows my mind that certain movies bombed in the theaters like this one, Blade Runner. Uh, I know this one was going up against uh, E.T. the same uh, time around there. So, you know, comparing the good alien, the happy family, fun one to this one, uh, I can understand that a bit. But still, uh, you know, maybe sometimes it takes a while to appreciate certain movies. And this found uh, a bigger audience on, you know, the home video release and just became a huge hit and deservedly so. Uh, just an iconic film. So there we go. There are the top five horror steelbooks of 2021. We've got two from Universal, two from Lionsgate, and then one from Arrow Video. And of these top five horror steelbooks of 2021, four of them are Best Buy exclusives. So that is amazing. I definitely appreciate the partnership with uh, some of these studios with Best Buy. They're doing a lot of great exclusives, and I can't wait to see what they do in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, let me know what you think of my choices and what you think of the movies. What's your favorite movie from all of these ones? So there you go. There was my list of the top five horror steelbooks of 2021. Let me know what you think of my list and what would be on your list for the top five horror steelbooks of 2021. And let me know if you've seen any of these movies and what you think of them. And let me know what your favorite pick is from my top five horror steelbooks of 2021 that I just showed. Leave me those comments down below and hope everybody's doing well. Take care.